Today on GoAskRed.com, I'm going to show you how to wire a simple electrical outlet. Some of the items I will use include a basic 15 amp outlet, 14 2 indoor electrical wire, a screwdriver, needle nose pliers, wire strippers, and a utility knife. Before doing any work yourself, it is important to shut off all electricity at your electrical panel for the circuit you are working on and test the plug to verify that electricity is off. Failure to be safe may result in your electrocution and possible death. By watching this video, the viewer agrees to accept all forms of liability that result from attempting to replicate the how-to video, regardless if the replication was done exactly as shown or not. In short, if you do not want to be responsible for your own stupidity, then hire a licensed professional. The first step to wiring an electrical outlet is to remove the sheathing on the outside of your electrical wire. Take your utility knife and score the sheathing down the middle, at least 6 inches from the end of your wire. Make sure that you do not cut into the individual wire coatings. Pull back the sheathing and paper wrapping to the point of incision and chop off the excess. At this point, you will need to strip off the tips of the exposed black and white wire. Take your wire strippers and remove the protective coating approximately 5 eighths of an inch from the tip. Depending on the brand of outlet you have purchased, the outlet may have a depth gauge located on the back. Since we are using 14-2 wire, we will need to use the 14 gauge slot on our wire strippers. Depending on the brand outlet you have purchased, there may be two different ways you can wire it. One way allows for you to stab the back of the outlet for a quick connection. The other method requires wrapping the wire around tightened screws. There are pros and cons to both methods, and most professionals fall in line with one camp or the other. The backstabbing camp can argue that their method is quicker and shields the bare wire from unintentional shortening inside the electrical box. The screw-it camp will counter-argue that the backstabbing connection may loosen over time and possibly start an electrical fire. The screw connection can provide a more secure connection when done correctly. For the sake of this tutorial, I follow the screw-it camp and will continue the tutorial with that approach. In step 3, use your needle nose pliers and grip the end of the exposed wire and rotate the wire until you have a nice 180 degree loop. The inside diameter of your loop should be an approximate size of the threaded screw located on your outlet. Create loops at the end of all three wires, black, white, and bare. With your loops created, you can match up your wires to the appropriate screw. Under most, but not all, conditions, your black wire will loop around the brass colored screw. Your white wire will loop around your silver colored screw. And your bare ground wire will loop around the green screw. We will start by connecting the black wire to the brass screw. In most cases, you will see two brass screws on your outlet. With this particular installation, either screw will work. With a brass screw facing up, Place your black wire loop around a brass screw. Be especially careful to make sure that your loop follows the clockwise rotation around the screw. Use your needle nose pliers to tighten the loop around your screw. Once the loop is tight, use a screwdriver to tighten up your screw down on top of the loop. Take time to make sure that your screw is really tight on the loop. Repeat the previous steps for your white wire which connects to the silver screw. Use your pliers to squeeze it and tighten it down with your screwdriver. And for the third time, loop around your ground wire to your green screw. Tighten down with your pliers and screw down with your screwdriver. Make sure your connection is very tight.
And there you have it, a finished outlet. Remember, black goes to brass, white goes to silver, and bare copper ground goes to green.